If the couple is good, then the marriage will be good. If the couple is good, then the family will be good. If the couple is good, then the children will be established and also have confidence in their life. Why? Because they are standing on the foundation that are solid, rock solid, because they can see every day. They can hear every day. You know, the children are hearing us. The children are seeing us. And even if we uh, hold position in the community, we hold position in the church, or maybe we hold position in, uh, in our workplace, everybody that uh, reported to you, they are also watching. Their eyes are also watching. And they are watching us parents. Parents in our workplace, parents in our society, parents in our church, or parents in our, in our home. The couple means miracle that we'll call blessings into family. When the couple uh, continue to agree in Psalm 133, see how wonderful eh? and how marvelous when people come together in unity. That unity is the unity that we talk about in marriage. In marriage, nothing else can put us together. Nothing else can um, uh, join us together. And nothing else can, uh, can make us more agree than any other thing. It is the love of God. It is the word of God. When we're standing on the solid ground of God, and that is his word, then the marriage or the couple or the relationship will be sound and rock solid. Why? Because we are standing on the word of God. Things may pass away. Jesus said heaven may pass away. Heaven may pass away. Or hell may pass away. Or the earth may pass away. Or spiritual things may pass away. But the word of God will remain forever. In Mark chapter 13 verse 31, the Bible says, Heaven and earth may pass away, but every word that I speak will never pass away. So we encourage you this afternoon, whatever you're going through in this life, whatever that you are, you've been challenged in this life, you must remember that when the couple or husband and wife come together and they based in the word of God, then uh, we assure you nothing in this world that come against you uh, shall stand. You will go through. You will um, prosperous in whatever you touch, in your workplace, in your spiritual life. Uh, for you as a, as a farmer or a gardener, or maybe your fisherman, whatever you do, whatever you touch, it will flourish. Why? Because your marriage life is good. We always share marriage life is a miracle. It's a miracle to everyone. And no wonder Jesus performed the first miracle in his ministry. He has to perform in Cana, in Galilee, in marriage. So wherever you're watching from, facing uh, problems today because of uh, maybe somebody is unfaithful or maybe some, uh, one of you is not listening or uh, one of you is unteachable in whatever you're going through, be rest assured that we must take our cue from the Word of God. We just listen, we just follow, and we do it. Try to honor and try to love. Try to serve your spouse the way that you're supposed to serve them. Because we are there to serve one another. We are not there to, to, to say that we are much better. I come from a better family. I come from a good family. My style, we should use my style. It's a give and take. And when you have a give and take, then you are standing on a rock solid foundation and your marriage will work. And I will ask uh, Randin Gaselevo this afternoon um, uh, to continue on this wonderful topic. And I believe it's a challenge in this, in this time, in this era. Nobody is not challenged. Every marriage is challenged because of the pressure, because of uh, COVID-19, because of the workplace, because of uh, the, spirit the spiritual life that we in. Every mar marriage will be challenged. But when you found on the Word of God, you can be rest assured that the power of the Holy Spirit will continue to teach individuals in our walk with God, especially to make couple a good couple. Amen. Yeah, just by listening through the, you know, the Bible verses behind me here, uh, which you have covered earlier, uh, it's very easy and uh, very simple uh, to read the Bible, I mean, uh, just hear the Bible study and say to yourself, okay, this is the fix, you know, this is the solution to our current situation that you may be facing uh, as of today. But the 